Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on a minute and share these quick thoughts that came across my mind when I was cleaning up. And it's that just like that closet or that closet that we say that we're gonna get to, you know, we'll, I'll clean it up, I'll scrape it down, I'll organize this closet tomorrow or, or another day. Or that junky draw, we say, we're going to straighten it out. We'll organize it. I'll sweep the flow later on. And we keep putting off this and we keep putting off that. And soon as later, it's, it's still the same way as it was when we said, I'll do it tomorrow. So I say this to say that that's how many of us put, you know, our relationship off with Christ. You know, we say, well, I repent tomorrow or I get it right tomorrow. But we all know that tomorrow is not a promise. Or we say that, you know, us as followers of Christ or believers of Christ Jesus, those who have, you know, repented or whatever and, and born again and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, etc. But there are certain departments, there are certain compartments or areas in our life where we have not surrendered, that we have not repented of. There are areas in our life that, that the Lord is saying, God is saying, you got to get it right. You got to get this area of your life clean. You got to deal with this trauma in your life. You got to deal with this pain in your life. You got to confront. You got to come back. You got to deal with this area of your life or else it would not get you far. You cannot go forward. You got to let go of this, this laziness. You got to let go of the procrastination. You got to deal with those deep things in your heart, those hidden things that is in your heart. But we keep saying, Lord, I don't want to face it yet. Lord, I, I'll clean it up tomorrow. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Or how about the word of God? I'll read it tomorrow. I, I'll pray tomorrow. But how many of us know again that tomorrow is not promised? So today is the day to get it right. The opportunity is now to get it right. We have to stop allowing the enemy to lie to us. We have to lie. We have to stop allowing ourselves to lie to us. Send it out, do it later on. Keep putting it off on the back burner. God is saying, go forth and do this. God is saying, go forth and do that. But yet you procrastinating. God is saying, forgive that person. Close that door. But yet you procrastinating. We have to clean out our junkie closet. We have to organize these different compartments that is in us. We have to go and even we have to go and throw some things out. Mop the floors, clean the walls, do whatever you got to do and get it right. Spiritually talking to those who understand spiritual things.